but don't just randomly jump. No! <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to do in today's video, so let's just jump into it! We are going to start off with this jumping spider. It is a Phidippus regius female and they are, I believe, largest jumping spider. At least males, but unfortunately I have a female here. I mean, it's not unfortunate, but it would be bigger if it was a male. She's still not maximum size, but she's super cute and I will try to get some macro shots. Macro shots, I have a macro lens here. We will try to get some cool close-ups and maybe a feeding clip. I don't know how she will be, if she is in the mood for that. We will see. We also have two packages here to open and let me show you what we need to do today. I've been talking about this for quite a while. As I already explained it, the intention of this compartment is to keep desert scorpions here and I'm only left with these two scorpions. I will update you on the situation and the reason why there are only two left. But hopefully this compartment will prevent any more deaths. It will be heated with this lamp, so that means that in here we will have higher temperature than inside of the dark den. Therefore it should be more suitable for desert scorpions. And another thing that we need to fix, no, not the lights. Yellow lights need to wait, but check this shelf. You see how bent it is. These enclosures are really heavy and they are apparently too heavy for this shelf. So my intention is, you see this piece of wood, I will cut it to appropriate size and put it here on the middle so it lifts the shelf. It will be additional support. So yes, we will also do that, but first let's check out the jumping spider. She was actually growing extremely, extremely slow, but then I found out that that is because I didn't feed her enough. I was giving her fruit flies and she wasn't really eating them, but not because she wasn't hungry, it was because they were too small for her and she was looking for some bigger prey. And as soon as I started feeding her with bigger prey items, she molted almost immediately. So my bad, and in case you get this species, feed it a lot. Let's get her outside. See, she is down here. She is a bit smaller than my finger. I will get her on my finger. Hey little girl, I need you. <laughs> There. Now let's see if we can get some good close-ups. Actually, we will get uh, a macro lens a bit later. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> but don't just randomly jump. No. <laughs> okay, she didn't went far. <laughs> Are you going to jump again? Where will you jump? Do -do 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 -do. She's so cute. <laughs> I like how she's waving. Oh, check her face. She's so awesome. I need macro lens. Let's get that. Jump on your enclosure. Blip, blip. There. Let's see how hard it will be to get a good shot. Hey, have you seen that? Okay, now we are talking. Now we are much closer. Oh, <laughs> one day I will try to get her jumps in slow motion. Why are you randomly jumping like that? Come on my hand. There you go. Now let's see how close we can get. Please slow down a bit. Oh, this is such a good shot. Ah, sorry, my hand is just not steady enough. What is she doing with her pedipalps? Is she signaling something to me? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but she's looking directly at me. Interesting. No, 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 she's so fast, damn. Hey, hey, don't run. A little jumper. Let me try manual focus. Ooh, we can get much closer. This is the closest, but my hands is shaking so much. Oh my God, look at her, amazing. Yep. <laughs> jump, jump. Let's try and get a nice, <laughs> nice feeding clip. I need a cork bark. Just a second. I will use this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> get there. Ooh, if I could only get a feeding video there and just grab a roach. Hey, little girl. Oh no. No, no, no. She's going out of the frame. Look at this. Juicy roach down here. Can you see him? Oh, are you drumming at him? <laughs> Come on, get him. Ah oh, no, she left now when I when I got her in focus she left. Look at this hairy booty. 
Her abdomen is so hairy. Who would have thought? You see, like, you see, like, oh, where did she go? These are really nice shots. If only we can get a feeding. Look how she is leaving a trail of silk. You see? She's leaving a trail of silk behind her. That way when she jumps like this, she can always come back. Why she always need to face that side? Come on, what is wrong with this side? I think it's because of the light. You see, now she's again on that other side. Let's try another feeding. Are you hungry? Or a little bit of roach? Oh, the roach fell down. Come on, get that roach. He's laying down there. No, it seems like she's not interested in the roach. Her movement is awesome. You have a jump? Whoop. <laughs> oh, I need the slow motion of that badly. Right now, we just want a feeding clip. I give up. She is not in the mood. Again, we have a nice pedipalation. Can we get even closer? As I'm talking, the camera is shaking. Ah, no stabilization on this lens. Let me just do one thing. Now we are even closer, look. But it is so hard to keep... <laughs> What have you done? Where did you go? Look at her fangs. They're nice and purple. Okay, I think that we bugged her enough. I will put her back into her enclosure and we will try to record a feeding clip some other time. But I think that we have a nice, nice shots anyway, regardless. Swapping the lenses and then we can do some unboxing stuff. This red box, it is from Kenya and her family. Let's see what they got for us this time. Last time they sent that awesome t-shirt. Pizza, mamma mia, but there aren't any spiders on it. Candy, candy, yeah, more candy, candy and more pizza. A spider, plastic tarantula. I would say Brahipelma smithy or Hamori. And something else. Oh yes, she mentioned that. Dun 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 Dark Den logo. On a piece of wood and I think that that is a handmade. I need to check but I think that she said that it is a handmade. Yes! One day everything will fall. Thanks Kenya and I hope that the Brexit won't cause any problems to for future packages but we just need to wait and see. For Americans and other people that don't really know what is happening, you know in Europe we have a European Union and basically most of the countries in the Europe are inside of that European Union and that makes traveling or sending packages or any sort of trade between those countries much 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 easier and for some I don't know reasons UK decided to leave so we don't really know how that will affect everything when it actually happens but I think it is happening next month or something like that so we'll find out really soon now let's check the other package and then we are starting with the build in this one I have no idea what could be inside only one way to find out it says Petco that would be me candy candy oh this is something Tarantula for assemble for assembly. Oh, this looks so nice, so sweet. Jasper, thank you very much for this. I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to assemble it. Just give me a moment. Da 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 da! The tarantula model is assembled. And you see, you can open the abdomen to see all the organs and the carapace. Also, to see stuff inside. And also, there is a stand. Oh, this is how it goes. Now we have a big brother and little brother. They can hang out together. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I really like it. And now let's upgrade some shelves. Stop falling, please. I made a mess here. Oopsie. So actually I'll put a camera here so I can work in peace. I need you to stand here. Increase the ISO. Yes, so we can see stuff. I mean, so you can see stuff. Okay, now I will 
just explain you what I will do. Here we will drill some hole, one hole so we can fit through this cable, that way the cable will go there and I can plug it in here. And then I will connect the cable on this, this is the thing where you screw the light bulb, this is the light bulb. <laughs> And then I'll put that here and it will shine the everything. Yeah, that's the basic idea. Let's get down to business. Yeah. With that done, we can take the cable through, pull the cable through. I still mess up so many words. Like when I'm recording video, it's so hard to concentrate on both things. Thinking of what I'm doing and recording and also talking. The struggle that people from UK and US don't really understand. Let's check if it works. Oh yeah, it dies. Oops. Now I'm going to take these guiders and cut them to appropriate size and put them here because I want to have the same system like this sliding door system that Despacito got. Hey Despacito, you wanna say something? No? <laughs> okay. So let's cut and silicone that. Now silicone action. Now I will put this on its place. There we go, it is ready. Now all that I need is a piece of glass, but first I need to order that, of course. But as I already explained, it will be the same system like this, just psk, psk. Just a bit smaller, actually, a lot smaller. Now let me just measure the temperature inside. For that operation I have this, this thingy. This part goes here and I'll just leave that here in the middle. It seems that it stopped at 28, but I assume that once I put the glass, the temperature will be even higher. So I will probably just end up putting a lower voltage light bulb here because this is 75 watts. And I can easily put 50 or even less depending on the situation. And also if there is really a need, I can just put a thermostat in so it can regulate the temperature. It's easy. Now let's get the scorpions and let me update you on the situation. So only two are left and there were six in total when I when I got them. I already explained this in one video but they were growing really really slow and every few months one would die and I didn't really know why because I kept them all the same on sand with some cork bark. I would just once a week miss one corner of the enclosure and that would dry the next day. I was feeding them regularly and that's basically it. But they kept dying one by one and I got told that it is probably because they are not kept on the appropriate temperature. So that's why I now finally made that compartment. And also one of the reasons why I made it, soon I plan to order some new scorpions and one of those scorpions are dead stalkers. They are one of the most venomous scorpions on the planet and for keeping them I really want to have a separate place. I just don't want to have uh, enclosures randomly sitting somewhere where, where someone can accidentally knock it off or something. I want that compartment to actually be an extra layer of protection. That is also the idea. So let me show you now. This is Leurus Hengi. You see down there and it actually molted recently which is awesome. Awesome that it is happening, but you see it is still super super tiny, really small despite how long I have it. And this next one, and this next one is called Parabutus Slechteri. This one also molted once, but you see again it is it is fat, which is a good sign because it means that it is well hydrated and everything. But you see it's still tiny tiny and the rest of the scorpions that i ordered together with these they all died unfortunately but i hope that this compartment will will change that we will find out and so now you know next unboxing will probably be a scorpion unboxing they will now sit here in this corner and i'll probably make like a few shelves so I can keep more inside. But for now I don't need to because I only have these two. Now we can move to our last task and that is this shelf. Let's fix that. As I said I have this piece of wood and that will go here so I just need to measure from here to here, cut it, remove all the enclosures, put it under and put them back and it should be fine. Let's cut. Yes! First I need to remove all the enclosures because they are heavy heavy. Okay it seems all right, we will see now when we put everything back. Yes, look, now it's finally straight. 
Awesome! Now with everything done, we can conclude this video. If you liked it, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe up on Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!